Let me say this statement first before I go on. I believe that the reason why the Minister of Justice is going through what she's going through, and please don't say, yeah, you say you are defending her. No, no, no. I'm not saying she's right. In this video, I'm going to talk about something that is very interesting. I hope you are going to like it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have been thinking about this thing of Justice Minister um in parliament and also and then i was following the way things happened okay especially from the debate do you remember the debate that she actually had uh, in parliament now let me say this statement first before i go on i believe that the reason why the minister of justice she's going through what she's going through and please don't say, yeah, you say you are defending her. No, no, no. I'm not saying she's right in whatever she did, starting a business loan without checking if there is registered with the credit regulator, whatever. She was wrong there, obviously. It is clear, okay? It's the law. There's nothing we can do. She was wrong. But I also believe that the reason why she's going through what she's going through or the reason why this scandal was flagged or was shown it was because of they there were people who were in who, who are actually looking at the ministry of justice with open eyes and they are making sure that you don't do anything that is going to jeopardize the gnu let me say also president why which debate am i am i talking about where did she speak anything that was wrong Tembi uh, Sisi Milan. Let's watch this video during his debate and then I will come back. People need Palapala. Pala, I'm going to deal with you first before Palapala Pala comes into the game. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Now, in this debate, you can tell that she was actually talking about dealing with Mama Lema. Obviously, that will mean today the dealing with the VBS and also she in the same sentence she says i'm going to deal with you i'm going to deal with you and then pala pala and then i'm going to deal with after dealing with you malima now a lot of people have, have actually made clips that she actually meant that i'm going to deal with you pala pala first and then i will deal with no 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 i don't think she meant that but i think she was talking about malima to say it's just the, the, the guys when you are in a tipe i told you before when you are in a debate you are debating sometimes you say things wrongly sometimes you say sentences and you don't put them wrong when you come back later you are like yes what did i say here you know but i believe that she meant that um uh, i'm going to deal with you and i i wish that she actually used malima name she said i will deal with you malima first and then i will deal with palapala Pala after she didn't say that it seemed that it seems as if she was saying i'll deal with you pala pala first but i don't think she was uh, meaning it like that but even even like that even if it is wrong it is like whatever guys it is still they don't like it for the fact that she mentioned pala pala in the same sentence of saying we will deal with you they didn't like it all right they didn't like the fact that she spoke about pala pala because we all know that somebody when the GNU came in, they were asked about the Palapala Pala thing, if they will still follow the Palapala Pala thing. Some people said, we are not going to follow Palapala Pala anymore. We are not going to investigate anything about the Palapala. Pala. Why? Because the president of the GNU is Ramaphosa, who is actually accused of this thing of Palapala. Pala. So we are not going to do anything about that. Now, the problem becomes if a minister comes in, and when the minister comes in and he talks about Palapala, Pala, saying we will deal with you, Malima, and then we will deal with Palapala, Pala, they don't want to hear any of that. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, the Ministry of Justice is a very important ministry. I think a lot of people, a lot of politicians, if they grab that ministry, they know that they've got something that's important. You can go after anybody, you can investigate anybody because you are all about justice, right? So in other words, anything that is brought before you that you need to investigate or anything that you might see 
that needs investigation you have to do it so a lot of politicians which i don't think a lot of them but there is this poli this party that is actually interested in this thing because i don't know they want to use it for whatever reason okay now also the public protector office is very important you know because remember these things these two institutions they are important because they deal with people they investigate people that is why even with, we, we, when it comes to the public pro protector thing you will hear sometimes when they ask about the palapala they are they will talk they will say this and say that and say that you can tell that they don't want to touch that part of politics because if they do somebody is leaving simple as that you can even tell guys during the meeting during when the minister of justice was actually talking there you could tell when they were asking questions i knew that somebody was going to ask especially from the same people that i was expecting it to come from they were going to ask this question from the minister um because everyone in this country has the right that you are innocent until proven guilty so do you welcome this investigation? I think you would. And then also, because you are at the top of the pyramid, um, would you consider stepping aside? And I, I think that um, it would be pertinent for the person at the top of the pyramid to step aside while investigations like this is going on until you are either cleared or found otherwise. Um, because you can tell us that you won't interfere, but they will ultimately be an impact on proper investigation and prosecution if it's the person at the top being investigated and prosecuted. So I just like... Obviously, they will ask that question because they want her to move because this person is threatening us, is threatening investigation against Palapala. And I'm saying it again, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter how the statement was. The fact that she mentioned Palapala, the fact that she mentioned Palapala in the same sentence of dealing with it, it's a problem. Let's look at the Ministry of Justice. The Ministry of Justice, you've got the minister, which is why, which is Tembi, Melani. then you've got the deputy minister which is this guy okay we all know i'm not going to show people on on screen here okay but you know who it is and we all know that if tembisi melane moves away or goes out of the ministry of justice guess who comes in <laughs> and then they've got what they wanted somebody who is their person who is going to go after every person unfortunately some people they don't see this if they get hold of that ministry ne? i can tell you guys every minister is going to be they are going to be investigated left right top to bottom it's going to be a chaos trust me and i can tell you guys i can even believe malima when he when he actually says somewhere somehow the gnu is going to collapse somewhere somehow it's going to break why because if some people get hold of some ministries in the cabinet trust me guys it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be awesome so i believe that the reason why they are doing this to the minister I, as i said i'm not saying she was right but the, the reason why they flagged this thing it was because of that statement do you also remember the video i shared now 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 recently Mkweba is saying to the Minister of Justice, Minister of Justice, you are in a movie. And unfortunately, the characters are the same. I would also say it's a movie which is always repeating itself. And we're watching it over and over in this country. And uh, unfortunately, it involves almost same actors in this particular movie because um, you would um, understand that indeed it's a very serious issue hmm? the characters are the same in other words this is the same people that i dealt with when i was a public protect i'm not saying she said that but obviously she's got experience in this thing she ex she has experienced it okay she was in court going up and down i think she's still there or anything like that so it is like it 
she was advising her to say, listen, praise yourself. It's still coming. This is just a small thing. It's still coming. Okay. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? I'm sorry for shouting. This is how I speak. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Uh, tell me, guys, what do you think? Tell me if what I'm thinking or what I'm saying, maybe it's something that I'm maybe I'm thinking too much and everything like that. I always say that. I don't know why, but so sometimes when I think about things, I would be afraid, you know, to 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 to, to actually talk about them because people they would be like, "Why now? Which world are you living in?" You know. Anyway, tell me, guys, what do you think? And tell me what I'm saying is actually. And uh, it makes sense. And if it does make sense, tell me why. Do you think it makes sense? And if it doesn't make sense, you can tell me why you say. Because, see, guys, whether you like it or not, the people who get exposed, unfortunately, who get exposed, who are flagged, uh, are people who are from the other parties, right? And also are people who are in very important ministries those ministries or those ministers who are occupying the ministries that other people are interested in trust me guys it's never going to be nice especially if you try or you start doing certain things they don't like they will deal with you okay tell me guys what do you think i hope you enjoyed the video like share subscribe and do what you have to do thank you you have a good and a wonderful day